Hi, my name is Christine Jo. I'm an executive director at Bankers Without Boundaries, which is a not-for-profit financial advisory, investment banking and asset management firm. And we're focused on environmental and social impact projects, working with a range of clients around the world. The screening and prioritisation process is really important to help cities prioritise their own limited resources, whether that's financial resource or human resource. I think by doing a screening and prioritisation exercise, cities can get a really holistic overview of their project pipeline, which can lead to much greater insights of the portfolio as a whole. So um, what are the key strengths and weaknesses and what are the key needs gaps that need to be addressed, for example. Um, so I think it really allows for more informed decision making for cities um, and yeah, it gives just additional insights for them in terms of how to prioritise their resources going forward. So cities um, in their prioritisation process are trying to work out which projects are the most bankable, so which are the most um, potentially interesting to investors. So therefore cities need to consider aspects that investors themselves will consider. And there are probably two key elements to this. So firstly, the financial return potential of a project and secondly, the, the impact of the project. Um, and so the impact in particular, there's a number of different ways that this can be thought about. It could include the project's impact on sort of social and environmental factors. It can also include, you know, how replicable or scalable that particular project is. So there's um, a couple of key challenges that many middleweight cities in particular face. I think the first one is often the availability of data to actually input into the process in itself. Um, prioritization is, it's not a full due diligence exercise, so you don't need full detailed data, but a certain level of quality and quantity of data is required to make the to make the output really useful for cities. Um, so that can often be difficult. And I think mitigating factors or ways that cities can overcome this are really getting buy-in to this process from a whole range of departments within the city because data can often be stored in many different areas and bringing it together can be the challenge. Um, but also maybe identifying a set of key metrics that all projects um, all projects will be assessed by and having that level of standardisation can, can help in the data availability or the data input process. And just finally, um, would encourage cities not to be put off where, they, where there are da data gaps. I think identifying these gaps is a, is a big part of the process in itself. Um, and again, cities can therefore decide whether they want to spend time and resource filling in these data gaps. Yeah, so I think toolkits can be really helpful um, for middleweight cities in particular, because often these cities feel like they can lack the capacity, um, whether that's human capacity or whether that's expertise, um, to think about external financing and, and financing instruments in their project development process. So as long as toolkits are kind of relatively easy to use, they bring all the relevant information in one place, um, that can really help cities to bring this bring this um, additional angle into their thinking and into their project preparation process. Yeah, so three, three key things cities should prepare. First, firstly, they should set out their objectives. So what do they want to get out of this exercise? And that can really impact the prioritization questions and the questions used within the screening process. Secondly, it's really important for cities to align internally. Um, and finally, cities need to ensure they have the appropriate capacity to really um, do this exercise in a meaningful way. Um, I think, you know, it's not a full due diligence process, but the more you put in, the more you get out. So I think cities need to ensure that they are willing to give um, sort of the relevant capacity, the relevant time to get the best out of this out of this process.